The sun rises over Kruger National Park, one of Africa's oldest protected areas for wildlife. The park preserves a diverse range of habitats and is home to an extensive variety of fauna and flora. The hot sun dissipates the grain clouds to nothingness. It's early morning in late summer and these impalas and plain zebra are getting ready for the day. A young foal watches and learns how its mother takes a dust bath. An important skill as the heavy rolling in the mud both suffocates parasites and also helps with any skin irritation. The foal waits patiently as mum frolics in the dust. Zebras are devoted parents, they have to be. A young foal like this would be easy prey for predators, but the mother will do everything to protect it. But what do you do if you're simply too big to take a dust bath? Well, as this young African elephant demonstrates, the trunk is a highly versatile tool that can bring the dust directly to its large body, almost like a shower. The feet are used to loosen the soil and then the elephant's trunk takes care of the rest. The elephant's trunk is not just for showering though. One of its most important uses is for eating. A handy hose pipe and cutlery all loaded into one. Dust bathing is not the only way to keep clean. Some animals have to rely upon a friend. Red-billed oxpeckers love hunting for ticks and other parasites, and this young impala knows it. Impalas are not the only animal that benefit from the oxpecker's deep cleaning service. With a neck that can sometimes be as long as six feet, 
and a total height that often reaches 5 metres, the giraffe really does have its work cut out when it comes to cleaning and grooming. The oxpecker to the rescue again, this time providing a bespoke grooming service by using a unique scissoring action with its beak. Chuck mother baboons travel in large troops. Baby baboons are often the centre of attention. But when play gets too rough, it will quickly escape to the safety of its mother. Adult male chuck baboons are fierce protectors of the seemingly carefree troop and they have sharp canines to fight off rivals and predators. For these baboons, grooming is not just a health-related function, it is an important social activity too. As we leave the baboons to groom and enjoy themselves, the evening is fast approaching. And the setting sun and the oncoming night will be inviting some fierce predators to wake up. But as the sun sets and the nighttime predators arise, it's time for us to leave the bush.